today I'm going to go over some of the things that you will need to do 11 fine motor uh, activities with your children. This is geared towards the ages of one, two, three. And then next week I'm going to be doing more three and up. We're gonna concentrate more on the one to two to almost two year old group. And we're gonna go over some of the things that I got and then where I got them. So I'm gonna start with the Dollar Tree first and then I'll show you stuff I got on Amazon. So I mainly got a lot of it on, um, or at the dollar store. So we're gonna go over that first. So I bought some sponges and what you're gonna need to do is just cut them up in pieces. And then we are going to go over the activity with you guys at the end of the video once we are finished with um, going over how to get some of this stuff together. And a lot of this stuff you can put in uh, little small containers that you can get at the dollar store or large baggies you can get at the dollar store. Um, Evelyn's right over here by me. She's playing with Cheerios and putting them in her cup. So that's what she's doing for fine motors right now. Another thing with um, Evelyn is that she has an issue with one of her fingers called trigger thumb. So, or trigger finger and hers happens to be her thumb. So we are working with that and one of our therapists um, was using these containers. So they're just kind of like empty travel bottles. And what she did is she, she had her unscrew the cover and then put some Cheerios inside it. And then you can kind of store them in there or they can eat them if they would like. So you, these I got at the dollar store also. So you don't need three, you can get whatever you can have or find things that you already have at home. But this is what I got from there. I did get some Play-Doh from there because you're going to be using this as your um, your stand. And I will show you later on in the video what I'm talking about by that, but you're gonna be needing some Play-Doh. Um, and some of these are gonna be kind of a repeat on my next video for the older group, but we're gonna be doing more of a difficult level. So we're gonna focus on the little kids first. So you're gonna need Play-Doh for another activity. And then you are going to need another container. So this I got at the dollar store also. They have some stuff right now because it's on Easter. So they just had some random containers. I'm going to be drilling or having my husband drill a hole in here and we're going to be putting straws in there. So I will, you'll see also at the end of the video what the kids are going to be doing with that. So you're going to need that. Um, you're going to need a whole package of straws and this I got at the dollar store. Yeah, just wait. Yep. This one these I got at the dollar store. Uh, you're gonna be cutting these in pieces and you're also gonna leave some of them pretty tall when it comes to using it with the Play-Doh. And like I said, we'll show you at the end of the video. You're gonna need some bigger size noodles for one of the crafts. And then um, if you guys have one of these empty containers that had kind of like a um, beaded smell uh, fragrance thing. I don't know if it was Glade or what it was. So I cleaned this up, washed it with soap and water and um, these all have little holes in there and with the straws they are able to place them in and then it sits in the container. So I'm going to give you a couple ideas of what we're going to be using with the straw or with the straws and this is one of them if you have one of these laying around so you don't really always have to have like an extra container like this but this is just nice to have if you have that um then for the next fine motor um activity is you're going to buy some flowers from the dollar store or if you have any laying around the house Shh, just wait um and you're gonna cut them a little shorter and you can get whatever color you would like. 
I got this from the dollar store and it's just uh, has like flowers on it. It's just a little planter, but we're not going to be using it the typical way. We're going to be we're going to be using it this way and I'm going to have my husband drill some holes and then the activity is so that they can plant their own flowers by putting them in the holes and that'll help them with um, trying to find areas to use their hands and put them in but we will go through that also at the end of the video. Uh, I got a puzzle from the dollar store it was backed by a lot of the kids stuff and um, this will help with using her hands and trying to put the shapes in where they need to go. So I got that also at the dollar store. Um, this I found at the dollar store. It's kind of like a little light bright. And what she can do with this is try to put them in the holes on the light bright and then it'll glow. So that'll be fun for her uh, to try to do too. So I will go over that. Um, another thing that I wanted to do with her, and we're gonna also be doing this with the other group of kids in the next video, is shh, shh. you're going to be cutting out some felt rectangles. And I went ahead and um, cut out some holes here. You can get felt at any craft store, Hobby Lobby. I just had some laying around the house. And then if you want to make a hole, what I did is, I'll show you here. And then I just did a like a slit in there, maybe like an inch or so. And that creates the hole right there. So what your goal is to do is another thing that you're going to be doing with this um, activity is you're going to be hot gluing some buttons on the end of a piece of ribbon and they are going to be kind of sewing in the button to the other side. So just like that, and then she'd be able to pull that through. And that'll help with um, using her hands, trying to coordinate and doing that. So we will go through that later. Also, this is just some of the things that I'm showing you to get to get um, ready for an activity if this is something you're interested in. Um, with us homeschooling, we kind of just pull out things when we need it. So these are a lot of activities that we can pull out for when my kids are bored or I need her to work on something while the other kids are, oops, while the other kids are doing school, I can pull something out. And another activity that uh, you can do is, I bought this off of Amazon. This we just had from another doctor kit kind of thing. But we're going to use these three things for right now for the activity. And they're just grabbers for the pom-poms. These I got at Walmart. And I think you can get these anywhere. anywhere. Um, I think I saw some at the dollar store. So you can get some of these at the dollar store also. I'm not sure if they have anything like this at the dollar store. I did not see anything, but maybe Walmart does. But you could uh, just order this. I think I spent like maybe six or seven dollars on Amazon for this. Um, I did end up ordering a cap set, but this was through a review that I had to do. So this came in handy for the craft that I wanted to do with them. And then you're also going to need some of these um, little pieces. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby or somebody gave them to me. They're just some little foam pieces and you're going to need all different sizes um, depending on the difficulty it is. So I might be doing this free P in the next video for the bigger kids that would be able to do the tiny ones. And Evelyn, um, with her being little, she might need to use the big ones but we will show you how to do that later also so we are going to be using a couple different ideas for a couple things that we're going to be working on 
So with the pom-poms and these right here, we are able to place them in the color that matches. So that's the goal of the caps that I got. And all I did is take a larger piece of felt. It's on the back of a piece of cardboard. I glued it down, hot glued it down, and then I hot glued all of these down in rainbow color. And then she can go ahead and do that. So kind of a kind of a three in one with this. Oh, there's too much. Three in one with this activity. So you would have the foam pieces, the pom poms, and buttons. They are able to match per color. And if you want them, just use their fingers. They can just put them in. Or if you want to make it a little bit more difficult. They can try to grab them with a grabber and then put it in the according color that it matches. So that is all the things that you need for the 11 um, activities for fine motors. And then I will go through um, with Evelyn and show you guys how to use everything. And if you guys have any questions on maybe something else that you guys are thinking that you want done with your child, that you're just kind of like not not knowing what to do. Um, my, with me, it's more the fine motors with Evelyn, with her finger and getting her to use her hands more, even though she doesn't really struggle a lot with it, but we're just trying to build up that muscle again in that finger and then um, she might possibly need surgery on it so then we're really going to have to work on it after so these are just the 11 activities that I wanted to go over with you guys and then um, just continue watching because we will go over with her on how we will be using them. All right, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be doing some fine motor activities with Evelyn. And the first thing that we're gonna work on today is a sponge tower. So I have 11 activities that you can do with a child ages one, two, three. And these are just little um, easy activities for them to be able to use their hands. With Evelyn, she does have a trigger finger and it's her thumb, so she is in therapy right now with trying to correct it. So this will help with just um, building up some of them finger muscles. So, Evelyn, do you wanna make it, should we make a tower? Tower. I found this little puzzle at the dollar store. This is just something real tiny for her to be able to work with. And we'll see if she can pull them out and then put them back in. You wanna try that? So the next activity is um, building a flower pot. So this I got at the dollar store, these I got at the dollar store. And what I end up discovering on here is on the bottom it had like a drip pan for like the water to go in. And I, I discovered that it already had the holes in it. So that was exactly what I needed for the activity. Okay, Evelyn, you wanna help me? Okay, can you put the flower? in the hole. Can we make flowers? Pretty. Is I call it the straw drop. And what I did is just cut cut up some straws and then put a hole in the top and she is going to be putting them in the container. So you can just go like this.
All right, so if you don't have a container like this, you have a container like this, I got this um, from, I think it was just like a smelly bee thingy, and I cleaned it out really good, and it has holes on the top that she's able to put the straws in. This activity is a little light bright that I got at the dollar store. So with this activity, um, all the felt pieces are already on here from my other kids uh, doing this with our other video. And we, sh what you can do in this way for the little ones is if you don't want them to string on um, the bead, then you could have it already on for them and then they can pull it apart if they would like, if that's easier for them. Otherwise, their goal is to build up to being able to sew them on by themselves. And then in my other video for the kids that are ages three and up, they're able to maybe put it in rainbow colored form if you want to make it a little bit more challenging. The next activity is with caps. Two different options of using for her to be able to grab them. So I have a little thing like this and a little um, clip that she can use uh, to pick up the pom-poms. So, and at first it might not be that um, she can match the color yet, but it's just being able to put them in the container. I do have different size pom-poms, so I don't know if the bigger ones would be easier for her versus using some of the, I have really tiny ones too. So she can pick and choose which ones she wants to put in. Don't take that off. <laughs> oh my Lord, what are you doing? That's not the process. Did you see your face? Okay, Evelyn, look it. So can you pick it up and put it in? Oh. Grab it. Oh, oh, look at that. Good job. Chop. So the little ones are. activity is Cheerios and using just a regular cosmetic um, bottle. I think you can, this is like for shampoo and stuff like that. So I got this at the dollar store um, with her therapist and uh, like Bertha three, they do a lot of this too with fine motors just to see where children are. So all, you can use it as them just taking off the cap, putting it back on. Um, but one of the things is to be able to pick up Cheerios and put them in the container. So we'll see if she'll do that. Okay, the next one that you're gonna need is wooden dowels and larger noodles and a container of Play-Doh. This stuff I got at the dollar store. Let's get started because she's getting a little impatient. Okay, so you're gonna take a spaghetti noodle and just stick it in there. 
And then she needs to, this is gonna be a little bit more challenging because these are smaller than the noodles. So she's gonna want to try to get them on there if she can. guys like that today um, some of this stuff took just a little bit for me to get together but if you just start out slow and do one activity at a time and you probably have a lot of this stuff at home if you already have little ones so you don't need to have exactly all of this stuff for them to uh, do fine motor activities um, you can go on Pinterest also and look up some stuff I'll try to, I do have a website, 10 Kids in a Garage. I might be posting some of this on there. I'm not sure when that's gonna be up, but I will go ahead and do that. In the description, I'll leave all the stuff that we were using today and where I got it from. And that's about it, I think. She wants to play with the Play-Doh the right way, right? So other than that, guys, um, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.